uh, Faraday's experiment. Uh, Faraday did two experiments uh, related to these electromagnetic inductions. Uh, the first one is like this. Uh, so you can see that there is a cell here and uh, there is a resistor here. Okay, and then there's a switch here, and then uh, there is uh, a series of this uh, iron coil here. Okay, so uh, we we call this uh, solenoid, right? Okay, it's a solenoid, and then there is uh, there's an insulated iron core. Insulated means that the current here cannot flow through this iron core. It's insulated. So insulated, so you cannot say that okay, the, the the currents go here and then go to the wire and then through the wire it moves through the ions and go here cannot. Eh? So the current cannot flow from uh, the coil here to the coil here. And then there is another uh, series of coils here, and this coil is connected to the galvanometers, and that's all. Okay, it's not connected to any electric source. Eh? This is connected to a galvanometer. The galvanometer is used to determine uh, the current. It can determine the magnitude of the current and the directions of the current. So you need to know that uh, the galvanometer, we call this a center zero galvanometer, uh, the pointer point to the middles. Uh, if there's no current flow, uh, the pointer point to the middles uh, and the zero mark is here. The zero mark is here. So this is different from the emitter and voltmeter. Emitter and voltmeter you start from here, but the galvanometer especially this uh, center zero galvanometer, the zero is at the center. The advantage of this uh, center zero galvanometer is it can determine the directions of the current. If the current flow from right to left, if the currents uh, move from uh, right to left, then it will deflect to the left. So this galvanometer, it will deflect to the left. Uh, if the current move from right to left, it will deflect to the left. If the current move from left to right, then it will deflect. It will deflect to the right. So it shows the the flows of the currents, the directions of the current. So it can tell the directions of the currents. Uh, it can also tell the magnitude of the current, how big the current is. And that's why we use galvanometer because it, because it can tell the directions of the current. That is the the apparatus setup for this uh, Faraday's uh, iron ring experiment. Faraday found that. When he switch on the switch, when he switch on the switch, at the moment he switch on the switch, the galvanometer is deflected. Let's say it's deflected to the left. Just switch on, it deflected to the left. And then after that, it come back to zero. And no more. Just at the moment the switch is on, it deflect a little bit and back to zero. And then he switch off the switch. And at the moment... He switch off the switch, uh, the galvanometer deflect again. Now this time it deflect to the right. After that, it go back to zero. So that is uh, Faraday's iron ring experiment. Only when the switch is switch on, or when the switch is switch off, the moment the switch is on and off, uh, the galvanometer will deflect, and the directions of the deflection is different when the switch is on and when the switch is off. Switch is on, it deflects to the left. Switch is on, it deflects to the right. Uh, so this is Faraday's uh, ex uh, iron ring experiment. Huh? Faraday's iron ring experiment. We're going to explain this later. Why? Why when the switch is on, it deflects, and why when the switch is off, it deflects to another side? We will, we will explain that later. So this is uh, Faraday's second experiment. Uh, from here, we can see that there is a solenoid. Okay, there's a solenoid. And then there is a wire connected to this solenoid, and again it's connected to a galvanometer, right? Connected to the galvanometers. There is a magnet, and uh, what Faraday did is uh, he hold the magnet, he hold the magnet, and then he push this magnet into the solenoid. And the moment he push this solenoid inside, this he push this magnet inside the solenoid, the galvanometer deflect. Okay, let's say it deflect to the left. Okay, we will discuss how to find the directions of deflection later. So let's say he push this into the solenoid, uh, the galvanometer deflect, okay, and then back to zero. And then he pull this magnet out, the galvanometer deflect again, and this time it deflect to the right. So you push this the North Pole in, it deflect to the left, 
you pull the north pole out, it deflects to the right. Uh, reverse the pole of the magnet. These times he put the south pole here and the north pole here. And again, he push the north pole into the solenoid. Now same thing happens. The galvanometer is deflected, but this time the galvanometer deflects to the opposite. Just now when it push in, it deflects to the left. Now this time if the north pole is here, sorry, if the, if the south pole is here, is uh, is the magnet is pushed in, then it deflects to the right. Okay, just now to the left, huh? this one to the right. And when it pull the south pole out, then the galvanometer deflect to the left. So uh, so this is uh, Faraday's second experiment, it's called the Faraday solenoid experiments. From these two experiments, uh, so Faraday's he draw some conclusions. The first conclusion is Faraday's found that when there is a conductor, this solenoid is a conductor. When there is a conductor cutting the magnetic field, there's a magnetic field around this magnet, right? When this magnet is inserted into the solenoid, yeah, the conductor will cut the magnetic field. The solenoid will cut the magnetic field. And when the magnetic field is cut by the solenoid, current will be generated. So when the magnetic field is cut by conductor, current is generated. He called this induced current. So this is induced current. Huh? So that is the first conclusion. Huh? Conductor cut magnetic field, current is induced. Second, directions of the current, the directions of the currents depends on the directions of the motions, right? And also depends on the pole of the magnet. Because when you push in, it deflects to the right, you pull it out, it deflects to the left. So the directions of the current depends on the directions of the motion. Eh? So this is the second uh, conclusion. So that is Faraday's experiments. Okay, then how to explain the first experiment? Okay, the first experiment is when you switch on, the galvanometer deflect. Now, why the galvanometer deflect? Because there's no current flow here. Because the, the current from the cell cannot move to the second coil here through the iron core because it's insulated. Insulated means the current cannot flow here. So when there's no current flow here, how can the galvanometer is deflect? So the explanation is like this. Huh? So when the current flow, when the current flow, uh, we have learned that when there's a current flow, a uh, magnetic field will be generated, right? We call this electromagnet. Eh? When there's a current flow through the conductors, a uh, magnetic field is generated. Okay, so let's draw here. When there's a current flow, it will generate a uh, magnetic field. So it will generate a uh, magnetic field. So magnetic field is generated here. This magnetic field will be uh, transferred to the second coil by the iron core. So this magnetic field will move. Huh? It will move to the second coil by the iron core. And that's the functions of the iron core. Huh? The function of the iron core is to transfer the magnetic field huh? of the first coil to the second coil. So then it will generate the magnetic field here. Generate magnetic field here. When the switch is on, you switch on, uh, the currents increase from zero. Let's say the current increase from zero to three ampere, from zero to three ampere. And when the current increase from zero to three ampere, the magnetic field also increase. Uh, the magnetic field increase from a small field to a bigger field. Uh, and here also the magnetic field increase. And when the magnetic field increase, then it will be cut by the coil, right? The magnetic field expand. From a small field, it expand. It will be cut by the wire or the conductor here. And then so if there is magnetic field cut by conductor, then current is induced, right? Okay, current is induced. Huh? So the galvanometer deflect. Now when the currents achieve 3 ampere, let's say, then the magnetic field will not expand anymore. And if the magnetic field does not expand, then the field is not cut by the conductor, then there's no current induced, then it will go back to zero. Okay, that's why when you switch on the switch, yeah, it deflect and back to zero. It deflect is because the field expand. And it back to zero is because the field stop expanding. 
if the field stop expanding, uh, so the field is not cut by the conductor, then there's no current flow. Eh? So it, it go back to zero. And when you switch off the switch, you switch off the switch, the current will drop. It will drop from three ampere to zero. Three ampere to zero. Eh? So let's say initially the current, uh, so the field is the direction of the field is like this. Eh? So when the current drop, when the current dropped the field will move in the opposite directions. The field will go down and contract eh? from a bigger field. It will contract to become a smaller. Field. Just now it's expand, right? Zero to three ampere, the field will expand eh? from a small to a bigger field. Now if from three ampere drop to zero, then the field will contract, contract to become a smaller field. Eh? And when it's contract, when it contract, it will cut the coil again. It cut the coil again, uh, then current is induced. Eh? But these times the field move in the opposite directions and therefore the current also move in the opposite directions and therefore the pointer will deflect to the opposite directions. So this is the explanations of uh, Faraday's iron ringed experiment. Eh? Usually in exam they won't ask you to explain. Okay, They won't ask you to explain. Eh? Uh, they will only ask eh, uh, what will happen. What will happen when the switch is on and what will happen when the switch is off. So if you don't know how to explain it's fine. Usually the only thing they will ask is uh, why, why when this is uh, switch on, why it will deflect. Uh, that is because the flux, uh, the magnetic flux or magnetic field from the primary coil is transferred to the secondary coil. So that is for uh, Faraday's experiment. Uh.